here with Paul Heathcote. Um, so, Paul, do you want to tell us a bit about um, what you know to be going on this weekend at the Winkley Square Festival? Well, um, I suppose there's a quarter uh, over towards my right where a lot of activity with entertainment, music, uh, eating, uh, fashion shows, uh, which is all great. Lots of kind of day and nighttime activity um, here on the square. Here we've got a real ale bar uh, along with uh, some music and entertainment, um, some gourmet hot dogs and uh, burgers. And you said before um, you kind of feel a bit of optimism about, about the square. You've been here for 18 years um, and there's, there's hopefully some funding coming to, to improve it. What, what's your view on, on the plans for the square? Well, the funding is in place. Um, I think they require more funding, so I think they would rather do a, a bigger and better job than a smaller job now and immediate. I have slightly different views on that, but hey, you know, um, I'm not the person who's chasing it all the time, and somebody's putting a lot of hard work into getting that funding, so they have the right to, to you know, to, um, I, su I suppose, to direct it the way that they feel it's responsible enough. Um, but I, I do feel that, like every great square, and this is, God, it's beautiful, you know, on a day like this, this is fantastic, but you don't always get great weather, as we naturally know, so um, I feel that it needs some hard surface area. Um, every great park or, or, or square has got a hard surface area, so it can be used 365 days a year. We have a water problem in, in the dip, you know, I'd kind of feel, why don't we fill that in and make it more water so it becomes a feature. It needs a bit more lighting, um, um, certainly in the evenings, and it would look an entirely different place. So hopefully a bit of those ideas and everybody else's coming together will make it feel very different in, in the next 12 to 24 months. <laughs> And what would you say to those people who are erring about coming down on Saturday to the, to the festival? What, what would you say? Well, um, I, I think like all things that doesn't have momentum, um, and it's a couple of years, you know, since the Guild, um, people have a little bit of scepticism. But um, when what they said about that and the Guild and the Winkley Square Food Festival that was around here, that, that you know, it wouldn't work. They only needed to come down and see it. And... Um, Gosh, it was like the emptying of a football match for for uh, for two days. You know, it was just fantastic. So uh, come down, you'll probably see the emptying of a football match for the next uh, uh, 24 hours. And just finally, tell us a bit about your burgers that you've got planned. Oh gosh, I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, we've done uh, gourmet burgers. We've taken uh, influences from around the world, so we've done kind of Indian, uh, Chinese burger. Um, we've done a uh, European, so German, uh, Italian, uh, and a good old Lancashire one as well. So uh, oh, and an American one. Did they make burgers up? Yeah, and a few hot dogs as well. So, thank you very much, Paul.